it's Rebecca and Sir Alfie. Yep, we're in the house. Welcome to our channel. If you've been here for a while, then we love you guys and you are gonna love this workout because it is one that you guys have been asking for for a while. And guess what? Every time that you drop a comment below and let us know what workouts that you do, we always read them. We always make sure that we eventually make them for you. So if you do have any suggestions, make sure that you drop a comment below, you subscribe to the channel, and of course, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Rebecca Louise Fitness. And if you wanna follow this little furry chihuahua, he is Sir Alfie. Okay, so today we're gonna to be doing back and chest workout. Yes, so if you've got weights, you can pick those up and we're gonna get going with those. If you don't have weight, you can use water bottles or you can use nothing at all and still get a great workout in. So Alfie, I'm gonna pop you down here. He's gonna be my trusted sidekick for the day. And you're gonna grab those weights. So right here, I've got five pounds on either side. You wanna make sure that the last rep you do is like, it's hard. The last couple of reps are really pushing you, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a slight bend in our knees. That's it, Alfie, slight bend. You're gonna tuck those hips underneath. Bring those weights out to the side and we're just gonna push straight up to the sky. Okay, so you wanna have a nice right angle as you come here, so just take a look for me and then push up. So you wanna make sure that your back is an arch, everything is tucked underneath and as you extend up to the top, that, your arms are nice and straight. So that's it, so we're just gonna do it nice and gentle to warm up. If you wanna drop the weights at any time, no problem. But I really want you to push yourself. I want you to see how much that you can do. So you've only got 15 minutes here, so you may as well just give it everything you've got. That 15 minutes, guys, is gonna go real quick. So you wanna make sure that you give it everything that you can. That's it, so extend up and take it down. So we're just gonna do slight little pulses here. So that's it, really using that back, open up that chest, but keeping those hips tucked underneath. So as you can see from the side here, I'm not like this. Everything is tucked underneath. Okay, and my arms are straight out to the side. They're not back, they're almost a little bit forwards, okay? So that's it, just pulsing up and down, using that back. We're gonna get nice and strong, work in that chest, work in the back. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, back up to the sky. I know that it's really starting to kick in. You're gonna feel that burn straight away. I had a message from someone the other day that said they couldn't even tie their hair up the next day after they did one of these arm workouts. So I'm sorry that you won't be able to do your hair, but I am glad that you were able to get a great workout in and you can feel the burn the next day. And if you can feel the burn, then make sure you hashtag, I can feel the burn, Rebecca, so I can find you guys on social media. Okay, last set of pulses. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Okay, drop them down. We're gonna rotate those shoulders. That's it, open up that chest, squeeze that back together, and keep those hips tucked underneath. Okay, next set of exercises, we're gonna go straight out in front. So again, we're keeping everything tucked underneath, and then we're going straight out. So it, breathe in, breathe out. Make sure that you're having fun with this. I want you to smile the whole way through because when you smile, it's gonna release endorphins and it's gonna pretend that you're liking the workout even if inside you're like, oh my goodness, this hurts so much. You can always do the modified version which is just dropping these weights down or the extra modified version is what my sidekick here, Alfie, is doing. Is giving yourself a little scratch, gonna lie down for a little bit, chewing your foot. Hey Alfie, come back here. Come back here, that's it, stay there. Okay, so squeeze, that's it. We've just got a few more on each side. Keep that arm nice and straight. And three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna do something slightly different. So we're just working that different muscle. So really try and use that back to lift up. That's it, open out and squeeze. Okay, how many seem to just kind of wander off for the first, you know, couple after a couple of minutes, just because he needs to have a little bit of a rest, but do not worry, he will be back. And if you haven't seen the workout from last week, please make sure that you go and check it out because Alfie does make a very special appearance. Okay, you got this guys, that's it. Keeping everything from the waist down really still, and then you're just using your back to lift up that weight. Okay, you've got this guys, we've got five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, rotate those shoulders for me. So we're gonna take it here and we're just gonna open out and squeeze, that's it. So we're using that back, almost thinking that you're kind of squeezing a monkey nut behind your back, that's it, and you're cracking a nut in between your back. You're gonna have that slight bend in the knees, tuck those hips underneath, and then squeezing out. Woo! 
we're gonna feel that burn guys if you cannot tie your hair up tomorrow then this is the goal I want to hear from you guys if you were actually able to use your arms the next day it's just 15 minutes so let's keep on plowing through we've got pulses out that's it chest nice and high keep those hips tucked underneath that's it really small little pulses for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one, okay, that's it. Just wiggle out those arms. We're gonna take it into some flies. So what I want you to do, is bend those knees a little bit further. We're gonna take it down here, and we're gonna extend out to the side. So you might wanna drop your weights here. You might wanna make them a little bit lighter, but it doesn't matter what you're doing. I just want you to stay with me and keep doing the motions. Keep going through the workout. 15 minutes is gonna be over, and you're gonna to get to decide if you have managed to get through it or not. And you are going to, it's gonna happen. You just gotta keep thinking, I've gotta keep moving my body. That 15 minutes will end, but will it end with you giving it your best? Yes, it's going to. And five, four, three, stay strong, two, and one. Okay, great job, we're just gonna rotate those shoulders that's it, take it down, we're going to go into that second set. Now it's really important here that you don't push out your back and push your chest forward. So we're going to keep our back nice and still. So as you tilt forward, okay, keeping that back straight, slight bend in the knees, open those arms right out in front of you, your palms are facing, and let's go into that second set. So we're squeezing up. Now if you can just get to here, no problem. It's better than just a pulling all the way back. You want to keep everything nice and still at the top. So you're squeezing those shoulder blades together, that's it, working those arm muscles too, keeping those hips tucked underneath, and let's go. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, great job. Rotate those shoulders. You are over five minutes all the way through. We've got less than 10 minutes to go. Who is with me? We're gonna go all the way to the end, but let's go back to those pulses up to the top. That's it, so we're holding those weights the whole way through, keeping that resistance. I know Alfie's gonna come back in and help us with the last 10 minutes very, very soon. He's probably just getting some water, maybe getting in a little bit extra pre-workout because he was tired because he didn't sleep that well last night. And let's push it up. We're gonna hold it at the top to pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and take it slow, all the way down. Okay, great job. We're going to come down to the ground. Okay, so you can put those weights out in front of you and we're going to be working that chest. Okay, so you're going to take a nice wide push up position for me. You're going to come onto your knees. Okay, so just a little bit further on your knees. You're going to tilt forward and keeping that tummy pulled in, we're just going to keep a nice straight flat back and then squeeze all the way down. Okay, so this is the modified. If you want to come up onto your toes, you can do and squeeze all the way here or you can come down here. Just relax those feet, keep those hips tucked underneath, lean forward and let's go into those push-ups and squeeze. So really breathing in and out. Okay, so important because all of you are going to come up and be dizzy. I want you to stay strong in that push-up and squeeze. Okay, we've got three, two, and take it down one more time. Good job, everyone. Okay, we're going to come up into that high plank. That's it. So just pushing down into the hands. So we're squeezing. We're using that shoulders. Okay, and we're going to come down. We're going to go forward, and then you're going to squeeze those triceps in together, and you're going to come up into an upward dog. Okay, I'm just going to do that through a couple of times. So come back up into that high plank. Tilt it forward. We're gonna squeeze those elbows in towards the chest, and then you're gonna come all the way up into that downward dog. And enjoy that moment. We've got two more. So up here, squeeze those elbows in towards your chest. Come up into that downward dog, and have you got the strength in you for one more? Here you go, take it down, squeeze, and all the way up, lift up, and you can come down to that child pose, just to give your arms a little bit of a rest, give it a wiggle, and then we're gonna come back and grab hold of those weights. Okay, we're gonna start on our knees this time. So this is what I really wanna focus on actually working that upper body, okay? So working those shoulders. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna come back to that same position. So tucking those hips underneath and then opening up that chest to squeeze that back. Now look at me, I'm not like pushing out like this. I am still keeping everything nice and tight and in control and in one line, but I'm using my back to open up that chest so you can really start to feel it working. That's it, so taking it out. Nice and slow with this, guys. Smile and enjoy for three, 
two, and one. Okay, small passes out to the side. You've got about five minutes left to go, and this is where the results are gonna start to kick in. Now, I've said this before, but you wanna think of your results as kinda like going on a treasure trail. Okay, so when you do get the treasure, you know, we get the treasure at the end of the trail. The gold is at the end. And that's exactly the same with, with workouts, is that you've got to keep going all the way through to the end of the workout so that you get those results. So the gold is your result and it's at the end of the treasure, end of the workout. Okay, we've got 10 more pulses in us. Yes, we do. Keep it nice and strong for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take it down. Now we're going to go across, but this time you're going to have that palm facing inwards. So squeezing out and then across. Okay, come on Alfie, come back in buddy. Everybody wants to see you do a really strong arm workout. He's being a little bit of a diva today. He's, uh, he's maybe he's a little bit shy about being back on set or I doubt that's really the case. It's probably that he feels like the attention is not on him. Okay, so let's keep going across using those shoulders to lift up and squeezing everything is nice and squeezed and nice and tight we've got five four three two and one hey Alfie come here buddy come here that's it oh we gotta clean your face okay great so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring those in together Okay, so using those arms, squeeze everything nice and tight. We've still got those hips tucked underneath and we're using that chest to open up. I like it guys, keep breathing, stay strong with me. Working a little bit of those triceps as well. So if you're working on those bingo wings, this is a great workout for those two. And we're gonna take it in the middle to pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it out to the side, same thing for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And back into the middle. One more round, guys. You've got it in you. Keep going. You've got this. Be strong. For three, two, one. Take it out to the side. Same again. Nice and tight, guys. For five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go back down into those push-ups. So pop those weights to the side for me. Nice and wide. Get those hips tucked underneath and back is nice and flat and let's go down squeeze and up to the top now try not to crush your legs at the back okay we're going to keep them nice and still and down we go use that chest have those arms nice and wide they want to be a little bit wider than your mat if you're on a standard mat size we've got three two and one okay great job everybody we're going to come into holding onto those knees Okay, but what I want you to do is grab one weight and we're gonna squeeze up, okay? So you're using your back to squeeze and lift up that weight. We're also getting a little bit of tension in the hand and the arm as well. So we're gonna be working those muscles as well as we're doing this squeeze. So that's it, I wanna keep everything nice and still. So you can see my head is in line with my shoulders, it's in line with my butt, okay? Keeping everything nice and still. And I'm really squeezing up and keeping those hips tucked underneath. So everything is nice and flat. That's it. Oh yeah, even that supporting arm is starting to really tingle. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, switch it over to the other side. So you can still feel the tingle and the support here. So bring that arm up, squeeze it to the side, and just smile. Guys, you're so almost there. Do not give up now. This is not the time to give up. You want to keep on pushing through. That's it. Lift up that arm and down. The higher you can lift it, the more of a motion that you're going to get. That's it. Bring it up and down. So you want to keep that elbow nice and tight in towards your waist. Your head is looking straight down and you're really working on those shoulders and that back to lift you up. Okay. Have you got it more? We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, nice work everyone. Put that weight there. We're gonna go five more push-ups. You have got this, okay? Get your mindset straight, start again. We've got 60 seconds left on the clock, so think about this is the first time you've got down today to do a workout, and we're gonna crush it. So let's go. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it down here, squeeze for five, four, three, 
two, one, push up. We're gonna come all the way up to standing, go back into those flies that we started with at the beginning. Okay, so dropping it down here, and then we're gonna squeeze out. Alfie has had enough for today. He's exhausted. You guys are gonna be exhausted too. And squeeze. That's it, keep everything nice and controlled. If the weight is too much, I want you to just drop it down. Breathe for me. You're so close to finishing. Do not give up now. This is where those results are gonna to start to kick in and you're gonna see the definition. You're gonna see your arms starting to tone up. And we have got five, count with me. Four, three, two, and one. Gently take it down. Ooh, give yourself a pat on the back. I'm gonna go and see if Sir Alfie is and how he's feeling. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, amazing. He's, yes, he's definitely tired after that workout. So if you guys have had a great workout, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. You share this with your friends and family. It's so awesome to see loads of the community getting together and doing awesome workouts as one because we do fit camps and all sorts of fun things around the world. If you guys need help staying on track and you haven't already checked out the 30 day get fit calendar, I highly recommend it. There are different workouts to do every day. It's all video, you literally just press on the day it is, the video comes up, it's so easy. And on Sundays, we're even giving a full day of recipes. Oh my yes, there's a full day of recipes available for everybody. <laughs> Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Rebecca Louise Fitness, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys on the next workout. Ta-da!